If you're dealing with jawline acne, so acne here, and you really want a natural solution as opposed to something like Accutane, spironolactone, or birth control pills, I want to share the root causes for your jawline acne today, along with action steps that I give all of my clients in the clear code to take to heal jawline acne naturally. And the results that you can have when you're not using something like Accutane or birth control pills, hormones, all the things, are pretty insane, so I'm really excited to share them with you. Lego. Hi there. My name is Jill Therese, and I had really bad acne for 15 years, believe it or not. This is what my skin looks like now. And I cleared it naturally. And as a result, it has become my mission to help you do the same thing. So make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. Before I start, I want to let you know that my Root Acne Triggers Masterclass, where I share seven root acne triggers along with nine action steps you can take to begin to heal your acne naturally, is still available for you to watch. It's free and I would love for you to check it out. So stay until the end of this video and I'll share directions on how to get the link for that. Yay! So when we're talking about jawline acne, we're really talking about sebaceous glands. We all, as humans, have higher amounts of sebaceous glands here, okay? And like here, right? So, and here. <laughs> so think about men grow beards here, right? Women, if we're dealing with like excess amounts of testosterone, all the things will grow more hair here. And we also have acne and it's because of sebaceous glands. And here's why. This is a rather long chemical thing. So I'm gonna keep it really short and sweet. Basically, Sebaceous glands are very sensitive to fluctuations in oil and hormones in our body. So when your hormones shift a ton, or if you have excess amounts of testosterone or even too much progesterone or too much estrogen, that is going to impact the amount of oil that your body kind of signals your skin to create. And so the more sebum, AKA oil you have at your pores, the more likely you are to break out. So that was the long-winded way. Here's the short way. Hormonal fluctuations cause increased amounts of oil at the pore level. And since you have so many sebaceous glands here that are really sensitive to excess amounts of oil, you are more likely to break out here because of hormonal stuff. Long story short, hormone changes equals oil changes equals sebaceous gland impact equals more oil equals higher incidence of breakouts. There are so many different action steps we can take to start to address jawline acne healing, cystic acne here, healing naturally. So let's focus on the big ones today. The first action step I'd recommend you begin is to start to begin to consider a low glycemic diet. And that is because blood sugar management deeply impacts acne. Again, this is a really long explanation. I have so many videos on this, so I don't want to like repeat myself and bore you. But basically, when you are consuming a diet high in sugar, so let's say in the morning you have a bagel, lunch you have pizza, dinner you have pasta, all of those things, even though they're like food, they're good food-ish, right? Those just get converted immediately into glucose in your mouth. So even if you aren't eating candy all day, if you're having a lot of white flour, white processed flour in your day-to-day -day routine, you are most likely going to be consuming a high glycemic diet. And what that does is it increases the amount of blood sugar you have running around your body at all times. And then your body doesn't want that. So it releases insulin. And then when insulin is released, it lowers your blood sugar effectively. But then it also, the more insulin you have in your body, the more of another hormone you have called insulin growth factor one. And what this hormone does is it increases the amount of skin cells you have growing at the pore. Again, long, it's a long chemical explanation that I don't wanna bore you with, but basically if you have too many skin cells at your pore, you are like setting yourself up for a breakout. So consuming a diet low in artificial sugars can ultimately lead you to not having the conditions in place on your face for a breakout to even begin. The second action step and item to focus on in terms of healing jawline and cystic acne naturally is liver support. Your liver is like a magical organ it's um, pretty amazing and it performs more than 500 functions. It basically works 24 hours a day. It stores nutrients like glycogen, fats, vitamin B12, vitamins A, D, E, and K, zinc, iron, all the things. 
and it generally speaking cleanses your blood and it detoxifies your blood. A healthy liver is pretty integral to having clear skin. Cruciferous veggies are another way to begin to support overall healing of jawline acne because they also support liver detoxification. <laughs> I almost forgot what I was gonna say there, whoops. Grabbing one cup or more of arugula, bok choy, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, cauliflower, collards, kale, mustard greens, radish, turnip, one of those a day, a cup of those a day can be really, really supportive for you from an overall liver detoxification perspective. Another action step you can check out to start to begin to heal jawline cystic acne naturally is to check out the supplement DIM. DIM, D-I-M, stands for dindle methane, dindodal, I always say this word wrong, dindoyl methane, and it's a metabolite of indole 3-carbonyl, which is basically a compound found in cruciferous vegetables. So you know how I just mentioned that cruciferous vegetables are good for you? DIM is basically just a compound of that from those veggies. Again, I'm simplifying this a ton, but it can have a really positive impact on just overall estrogen detoxification support. Another action step you can take to support healing these like kind of cystic issues from a jawline perspective is to sweat more. Sweating is important and I know you're like, oh cool, awesome, someone else on the freaking internet telling me that I should sweat. But sweating is really important because I had this nutrition professor explain this to me like this one day and I really loved his explanation. We all have lymph nodes, right? So we have lymph nodes here, underneath our armpits and our groin. We have lymph nodes really everywhere throughout our body. And what the professor said was, we have this system of lymphatic drainage, right? These lymph nodes remove toxins and help our body detoxify, but they're kind of like a sprinkler system without a pump. And by that he was implying that you know, if you don't sweat, if you don't move, if you don't exercise, these lymph nodes can't perform as well as they would like to and as optimally as they could. So when you get your blood, your um, heartbeat high and you're sweating a lot, you are effectively kind of pumping the lymphatic system in a really positive way to remove toxins and just kind of detoxify your body in general. I'm speaking very broadly about these things, but I know you know what I mean. Working out equals sweating more equals that is better for your lymphatic system. From a jawline acne perspective, I have to tell you that pooing is important. Going to the bathroom daily, if not two to three times daily, is super important because you're detoxifying properly. And you're also absorbing nutrients well. Ideally, when you eat food, there's about an 18 to 24 hour transit time between when you eat the food and when it comes out the other end. So let's say you have a meal and three hours later, you have really bad diarrhea. That meal probably didn't agree with you. Or let's say you had a meal and then you don't go to the bathroom for four days. That's also telling you something about something that's happening from a gut perspective. So you really wanna be pooing regularly, okay? If and when you aren't, that just leads to overall just kind of a, a toxic overload in your body, which can't which can't support your skin in any, any way, shape or form because our skin is our largest organ and it's impacted by everything, despite what you may have heard. <laughs> your skin is impacted by everything you eat the same way other organs are impacted by everything you eat. <laughs> Here are a few ways you can support yourself from this perspective. You can add in one tablespoon of ground flaxseed into your morning smoothie. I love this step and it really helps me. I also take about 250 milligrams of magnesium. It's a natural muscle relaxant and it really encourages lovely, perfect pooing. So I think you should really, really focus in on that. Another thing to consider when you're talking about jawline cystic acne is really diagnosing what type of cystic acne you are dealing with. So I'm not a dermatologist or a doctor, so always go to them, but there are a bunch of different kind of conditions that can show up around here. You could have perioral dermatitis, you could have amalysesia folliculitis, so this kind of overgrowth of yeast, or you could even have acne rosacea. So being really clear on why you're breaking out in the first place around this area of your face is really important. So on that note, I would love to help you get a little bit more clarity. If you want to register for my free Root Acne Triggers Masterclass, the link is found below. And basically I show the seven causes of your breakouts, the 
nine action steps you should take to start to heal acne naturally. And I give you information on how you can work with me in my program, The Clear Code, to clear your acne naturally. So I would love to see you in that triggers, Root Triggers Masterclass and let me know if you register. How was this video? Was this helpful? Do you have more questions? Leave me a comment below with any more questions you might have because I'll probably make a video on it if you do. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to be notified when I post a new one, and send this to any friends, family, mother, sister, brother that you feel like may benefit from hearing a little bit more about this stuff. I would love to be a support for them. See you next time.